Okay, everybody, calm down. It's my birthday weekend, so I might be off the chain. I don't know. Um, anyway, welcome back to a Dollar Tree haul. So I found some goodies. I found one major wish list item that I've been looking for, so I can't wait to show you guys. But this weekend, I'm going to spoil myself rotten with food. Yes, you heard me right, food. So I went and got this bad boy, and it's a butter pecan crunch a frozen coffee from Dunkin Donuts and let me just say it's amazing it was funny when I was ordering because instead of butter pecan I said butter con and I'm like what did I just say butter con I don't know but maybe I created a new word or maybe that's some kind of special event that people that love butter go to let's go to the butter con this year I don't know like I would go totally mm. all right before I start, I just want to draw attention to these amazing Timu nails, okay? I don't even know what to say. Let me just say, let me say, I don't know what to say, but let me say, do you see these right here, the, uh, the, moon, the moons? They get caught in my hair really bad, so I'm probably going to end up prying those things off, but the gems are okay. They don't really get caught in my hair, but those moons and the stars on the middle fingers, like, dang it. I can't stand it. Like, it keeps getting caught on everything, but these are fabulous. I haven't had nails this long in a long time, so I'm kind of struggling, and I'm wondering if I take my contacts out tonight, am I going to pierce my eyeball and have it, like, on the end of my finger? I don't know. Uh, we'll see, I guess. If, if so, I'll... I'll send a picture to Instagram or something, you know. Uh, let me let me just go ahead and get started here. Okay, let me see what we got. I definitely got some munchy foods. Um, I saw some new foods, and, and you know, if I see a new food, I'm pretty much going to get it. If I have the munchies, I'm pretty much going to get it. You know, it's, it's, that's just how it goes. Number one, let me show you all this. And this is not a new brand. This is for Jack. Um <coughs> It's Friday, so she's going to her Gigi's house uh, this weekend, and boom, I got her one of these. She loves these. Like, this, she's the only person, well, not really, like, I just can't stand seaweed. Like, it makes me want to literally gag. I don't know. They used to carry the three packs of seaweed, not this brand, but a different kind, in Dollar Tree. I haven't saw those in a really long time, and she used to love when I'd get her the three packs and then after paying, you know, $1.25 or a dollar even at that time for three packs, I can't hardly bear to buy a, a one pack for $1.25 because, number one, it feels light as a feather, stiff as a board. You know what I'm saying? So this is the teriyaki one, and I'm going to give this to her to take to her Gigi's. So, yeah, my hands are sticky from that drink, and it's starting to irritate. Um, I got these, and I was just wondering. These are Marshmallow Rainbow Twists. Um, here's what they look like, and they're adorable, right? But I was just thinking, like, what if I save these until we do s'mores? Wouldn't this add, like, a fun type of thing to having s'mores? I mean, I think so. I, I just totally think so. Like, and we are going to be doing campfires and stuff like that this summer. Yeah. Um, I got this because I am and have been gathering up fun and wacky and crazy things to do a taste test, which I can't wait to do that. I want to go ahead and do it because smoked oysters is something that I would never, ever, 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 ever eat unless I was doing a challenge. You know what I'm saying? So we have the smoked oysters and I don't know. Let, let, let's see how it goes. I don't know. I'm going to put it in the bag with the other weird and wacky things like sardines and, and other things. And I honestly have, and I told you guys, I don't know if you remember, and you maybe not have seen that video, but I have a Hidden Valley Ranch pint of ice cream hid back in the back of my freezer because I'm going to break that out. Like, I'm the only ones that know about that is me and Fifi. Okay. Um, I just got one more box of the Watermelon Crush. These are really good. I like them. Um, you get six packs in here, so I just got one of those. And then I got one more of these, and this is the um, Cereal Straws, the Fruit Loops. So they have these, and which the, you get five, five straws in here. And they also have these. With, okay, so the, here's these. I'm going to lay these to the side. These, you get four straws, 
And these were just so darn cute, and they had strawberry and chocolate. So I had to get these. I just think these are absolutely adorbs, and I know Jack will love these. Honestly, I think I'll put them in her pile to take to Gigi's house. So Because if I don't, her dad will eat them all. You know, that's just how he rolls. Um, and then I grabbed two of these bad boys. This is just the original Slim Jims. I always have thought these were an excellent deal at the Dollar Tree because they're probably at least $2.49 at like one of the convenience stores around here. So I love having a Slim Jim, especially like if I'm trying not to have sugar, which I was trying. And then I'm like, holy cow. It's my birthday weekend. What the crap am I doing? So I'm like, I'm treating myself this weekend. And then Monday, we are getting serious with life. Okay. Let me just say, Monday, it's all going down. Okay. But until then, hmm. if you guys haven't had one of those, oh boy, go get you one. Okay, and then I just got one of these because um, these are the rectangle ones, and this is the size that fits. Well, I don't know if they fit a picnic table, honestly. I'm hoping that they do because this is one of the things that I'm wanting to take um, whenever we go picnicking. And I might try to get like a little something for Sunday because Sunday is my birthday. So I was thinking, and let's see, tomorrow night is Saturday. My hubby's going to take me out to dinner, like an early birthday gift dinner, because he never goes to dinner. And that's one of the things that I would do every single, well, all the time if I could. I love going out to dinner, sitting down, being catered to, and I'm not even talking like expensive places, you know, Chick-fil-A, I don't even care. Like, I just love going out to dinner. I always have, always will. Um, so he's taking me out to dinner tomorrow night and then Sunday I may arrange for a picnic for the family I would like to if weather permits so we'll see but anyway this is the tablecloth things and I'm just going to keep these in my picnic basket and then this tablecloth it's so summery and picnicky right it's like picnicky is that a word if not it is now um and then I got this. This is one of the pride candles, but I absolutely love the scent of this. It is the dragon fruit. Um, they had some new candles up in there and OMG guys, they smelled bad. They was cute. They was in these little cute pots with feet. They was really cute. I could not bring myself to buy one though, because they smelled like old crayons that have been melted from back in the 19, the 1900s. That sounds so long ago, but like, <sighs> shocking. Okay, anyway, dragon fruit, these smell really good, and the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I love color. Give me color any day, so I grab that. Love it. And then I grab these because Ricky no longer has crayons because he's broken them, lost them, you know. Ate them. I don't know what kids do, but now nah, he hasn't ate them. But I thought these crayons was adorable. Look how cute. It's the Sesame Street characters. Look how adorable. Like, the whole... Look, they're just so cute. I don't even know if he watches Sesame Street. I may have gotten these for myself to look at. Look at the Oscar, though. Is that the cutest thing ever? Big bird. I just could. I just love them. I love them. Okay. Let's go. As I was sitting there, somebody came up to the car and gave me gave me something. They're having a Memorial Day cookout at um, a furniture store. Free food and drinks. No purchase necessary. I'm thinking dinner that day, right? We just go. We mingle. We act like we're looking at beds. We eat. And then we don't have to cook. I mean, am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't think so. Like, she gave it to me. I didn't, I'm not begging. She gave it to me, right? That's just what I'm thinking. I don't know. Um, okay. Anyway, these this right here is the wish list items, guys. I have seen these. That was the littlest car that just rolled by. I have seen these all over like TikTok and people trying them out and stuff. And these are absolutely fabulous. Okay. I don't know if they're identical, but I had to get it. Um, I think they look like they're identical, but just one blue and one pink. So I may give one to Fifi. Um, so it's the Face Mister Ultra Sonic. Let's open one. I'll open the blue one. Um, I've got some water sitting here, and I just want to see. Like, I don't know. I saw somebody put 
like the finishing spray that you would, okay, it comes with the, the charging cord. Does it have any charge at all? Yes, it does. So I'm going to try this out. Um, I don't know how. I don't know what to do. Where do I put the, okay. I'm going to pause and read the instructions. I'll be right back. I'm not a man, okay? Just in case you don't know how to do it, I'm going to show you. So you take this little thing that came off of the top. And you hold it upside down. You pour the water in like this. I'm not. I'm just gonna go like half because I don't know. Um, and then to put it back on, you just put it on like this, okay? And put it on, okay? And so now we have our water in there. We're gonna turn it on. Okay, let me take my glasses off. Number one, it lights up. Number two, OMG! Oh, oh, how lovely! Oh my gosh, how adorable is this thing? What? I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm so thrilled. Like, I am. <laughs> oh, it's so cute though, right? Okay, so total wish list fun. I'm super stoked. I'm so stoked. And I found it on my birthday weekend. So if that don't tell you something, um, let me just say. Somebody said I should do a t-shirt that says, let me just say. Who knows? Maybe I will. Um, okay. I did get one more of these because this weekend, no, next weekend when we have sleepover, I think we're going to do an ice cream bar. Um, and the last one I got was for coffee, like like coffees and whipped cream or whatever, ice cream, whatever. But I thought I would get this one just for the ice cream bar. Um, I, I got a chocolate one already at home, I think, unless my sons drank it or mix it with milk or whatever he does with that. <laughs> who knows? Like, who knows? But this one. This one is going to be for the ice cream bar, okay? And I'm going to be playing on that, okay? Maybe I shouldn't because by then I'll be dieting real good. Maybe I should wait till after Memorial Day. No, just kidding. Okay, so they have these big old deluxe mac and cheese dinners. Well, mac and cheese. They call them dinners. I mean, come on. Let's be real. Is this a dinner? We usually use this as a side. I don't know about y'all. I mean, if I lived alone, this could be my dinner. I mean, no lies. I would do the weirdest dinners, like sort of like Fifi does. She does weird things. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, and then I grabbed... One of these. This is the hot, well, yeah, the hot onion rings, Andy Caps, forever one of my favorites. Like when I was in junior high, I was addicted to the Andy Caps hot fries, which I love. I love to this day, but the hot onion rings, and I never even seen the onion rings until about a year ago when I saw them in Dollar Tree. So anyway, yeah, grab those. And then I got these to put back. I have kind of what I call like a sleepover bag. And I like to get these for the girls to put in the sleepover bag. Although, Ricky likes them too. So, I don't know why I didn't get three bags of these. I'm going to have to get another before next weekend. But it's just the hot talkies. Just the chili lime or whatever they are. And then, hold on. I found two new um, nail polishes that I like. Um, number one, well, these are the P2 brand. Let me, let me see something. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do with my glasses, guys? Did I put them back? I know I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. What in this world? What in tarnation? <sighs> oh, I know where they're at. They're right here. Okay. Anyway, don't start hooting and hollering at me, okay? We're just not going to go there today. All right. So, anyway, the P2 brand. These these things don't. Okay. P2, this is a techno chrome polish. And I like to paint my nails some, too, um, and give, give them a break from the fake nails. Um, so, And I really don't like the, the, the chrome look on all of the fingers. So I'm thinking I could do the chrome on, on like, this finger here. And the name of the polish, Steel Drama. Okay, we'll let that one stand because it seems legit, okay? Um, this one is called... <laughs> Pony Farmer. What? Pony Farmer? Okay. 
Okay, we'll let it stand because it's crazy as crap. Anyway, I like painting all the other nails except for the ring finger and painting them with this. So anyway, Pony Farmer, weird, weird, still drama. They need me to name these nail polishes. I could do better than Pony Farmer, okay? I mean, I would call them, I would call it like Fairy Kiss or, you know, something, something other than Pony Farmer. What? Okay, I don't even know about that. Okay, I found two B signs that I had previously not found. So I'm gonna show them to you guys. This one right here, it looks like it's on different pieces of wood. Look at that B, that's a bumblebee for sure. And it says, be humble. And I think that is so pretty, I love it. And then they have this one right here, which he's so cute. Now this is kind of the kind that's cheaper. This is a thicker wood. This is a kind of a cheaper wood and he's wrapped in plastic. So this one says, be blessed. And it's the most adorable gnome. And I love the black and white checker. I think that's really cute. But these two are just so adorable. I had to grab them. Had to grab. Okay. And then last night, um, I made my hubby brownies. My hubby and uh, my son, honestly. That, why does that look like my son up there walking? There's no way. No. There's no way it can be him. I, it can't be. Um, anyway, so I made brownies, and these bad boys, they love them, and in an 8 by 8 pan, they came out, like, absolutely perfect, so he asked me if I'd get some more brownie mix, I'm like, sure, I think I got that at the Dollar Tree, and lo and behold, yes, I did, yes, I did, um, and then this is a repurchase, guys, I show y'all this all the time, it's just the chicken salad, um, it comes with, like, six crackers, my hubby loves it, he's a snacker. And then I like to get these periodically because this is three different little, they look like this. There's three different ones in here. I love making like a big salad with, you know, peppers, onions, cucumbers, tomatoes, putting it in a big bowl and then seasoning it, not letting everybody season their own, but like pre-season it. And I, have, I never get any complaints when I do that. They like it. So I like to just kind of pre-season the whole thing, shake it up real good. And I like using these. I like having those. There goes a four-wheeler. I don't know. Um, I got this for the sleepover. Um, last week, Jack had a little Nerf gun, and Ricky kept stealing it and, you know, acting like he was shooting the girls. So I got Ricky one this week. It has four little darts, and it's going to be really hard to keep him from shooting the girls, but um, I will do it. So they got talkies. He got a Nerf gun, right? I know it's not technically a Nerf gun, but a foam dart blaster, right? aka Nerf gun. And then I just got this for Jack. I think I'm gonna let it take let her take it with her this weekend. She absolutely loves almond milk. So this is the sweetened vanilla almond milk. So I just grabbed that for her. Um, I love those shelf stable milk shelf stable milks in there. Um, I think they do have the unsweetened as well, but I don't know if it's uh, vanilla, but I am starting to really like almond milk um, in cereal. Like if I'm going to have a bowl of raisin bran, I can't eat, I, I just can't do regular milk. Regular milk makes me very gassy, okay? I said it, I said it, I said it out loud, but yes, it's true. It's bad, and I'm like, I can't drink milk anymore. I just can't, and maybe it's all dairy. I don't know, but I'm not giving up cheese. I don't care. Like, I don't care what you say. I'm not giving up my cheese. That ain't happening. Okay, so I grabbed this for my son, and he's gonna like it. Um, he burns like incense and stuff, and this is to burn like incense cones. Um, but honestly, let me tell you what I think would look absolutely adorable with this. To take this, and you see down in there, you see that little, you could put like a votive candle. You could do incense cones or something. I think that getting one of those really cute, bright, vibrant succulents from the Dollar Tree and gluing it down in there with some hot glue, wouldn't that be gorgeous? Um, I think that would be amazing. So, I mean, I probably won't do it, but he's going to love that. It's just a little, I don't really want to say Buddha because it's not like Buddha. It's just a little statue. That's what I'm going to say. Statue. We're going there. Bud, Bud, uh, not Buddha. Just a little statue. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so Jack um, asked me to get her some more toothpaste. She said, please get bubble gum. I said, if they have bubble gum, I'll get bubble gum. So they have this right here, and this is bubble fruit. I don't know. I know that she doesn't like the mint. It's spicy. You know, kids and spicy toothpaste, you know, I, I don't know. But this is bubble fruit. I don't know if she's going to like it or not, but this is what she's got. And then lo and behold, why do I keep saying lo and behold? I never say that. Where'd that come from? I don't know. But anyway, um, I like these. I like these. They're neat. Like they don't leak toothpaste everywhere. They are co compact and small. You know, they don't take up much room. It's the Colgate. <clears throat> this is the regular whitening one. It's the Crystal Mint and it's a whitening. So I grabbed that one. And then this is the two in one toothpaste with a mouthwash in. So it's gonna give you extra fresh breath. And this is also whitening. This is Icy Blast. So there's what they're gonna the colors of them. So I feel like a dollar twenty five is not bad at all for those. And typically, um, when when I have one of these open, I'm the only one that uses it. My hubby likes different. He don't really like these little ones. I don't know why, but he don't. But and Jack likes her kind because these will probably be spicy, you know. So yeah. Okay. So there's those. And then, um, before I show you my last bag, I'm going to show you this right here. So, we had bought one of these to sit in, which I, if you guys remember, um, it did not have fur on it. It was just like a gray material, um, and it was for Ricky, like in our bedroom, like when, he, when, when they do sleepovers. We keep him in our room a lot just so we can kind of keep an eye on him because he's a wild little guy. He's three. So, you know, those, those threes. Um, anyway, having said all that, Jack has a little um, vanity in her room and the stool to it broke a while back and um, so I thought this would be perfect to go with that little vanity because it's just the right size and it's fluffy she's absolutely going to freak out because she's been wanting Ricky's and I'm like no you know you gotta you gotta say no sometimes but she's going to freak out when she sees this fluffy one they also had another color but I can't remember what color it was I just saw this mint green, and I'm like, get in my buggy right now, okay? It's fabulous. I love these little stools. They're so cool. Okay, and then this is something new that I had not seen at Dollar Tree before, and I'm kind of excited about, even though, um, hopefully there'll be, hold on, hold on, hold on, hopefully there'll be one in here, because these are, I, I got, yeah, okay, are you ready? OMG. Frank's Red Hot SpaghettiOs. What? Spicy Original. What? I'm totally going to have some of these. Okay. I better do it before the weekend's over. Um, Frank's. I love Frank's Red Hot Sauce. It's my favorite. And I, I haven't had a SpaghettiO in flipping years, honestly. But when I was a kid, and even in my 20s, I liked SpaghettiOs. I did. I, I, would, I would open them and just eat them out of a can with a spoon. They don't even have to be heated up. So I was excited about that. Um, so they had the Frank's Red Hot. They had the ones with chicken meatballs. So I, got, I think I got two of each can. So I don't know if they're all going to be in here or not. Um, but we'll see. Another chicken meatball. Um, this one is the... with. Okay. It says Frank's. But that means it has Franks in there. So, like, little cut-up hot dogs in there. Yeah, so, Franks. Um, what else we got? The Franks, okay. I felt like there was one more. Okay, evidently not. I got two. Okay, I think there is, but it's probably in the back. Um, but I also got one of these. This is the Seasoned. Cuban beans, uh, Cuban style. It's black beans with a savory garlic and lime sauce. And I got this because I'm going to be making fajita bowls. And I actually had one of these, but the other day, yesterday even, I saw the can with a spoon sticking out of it sitting on the counter, you know? So I'm like, 
okay, there's my beans um, for that meal, but that's okay. You know, that's all right. There's more beans where that came from. So I'm definitely going to be doing those and making burrito bowls, not fajita bowls, burrito bowls. And I'm excited about that. So anyway, guys, that is my haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what your favorite item was and by the way, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you like me and my content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and officially become part of the Gypsy family. Yes, officially. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and until next time, bye!